Hello, welcome to class. Today's topic is on some nationalists in Nigeria. In our last class, we listed all the nationalists in Nigeria. Today, we want to look at two important nationalists in the history of our country, which is Sir Herbert Macaulay and Dr. Namde Azikiwe. Okay. Now, Sir Herbert Macaulay was born in 1864 and he died in 1946. Dr. Nandi Adikiwe, 1904, and he died in 1996. Herbert Macaulay was born on the 14th of November, 1864. He was born to a clergyman as a father. And then the mother is Abigail Crowder, the daughter of Bishop Ajayi Crowder. He was a journalist, a politician, and the first foremost engineer in Nigeria. Now, his legacies include setting up newspapers, and he was the one that set up the first political party in Nigeria, which is known as the Nigerian National Democratic Party, NNDP, in 1923. And he founded the National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroon, NCNC, alongside Dr. Nambi Azikiwe in 1944, and he encouraged Nigerians to defend their rights. Now, lessons we learned from Herbert Macaulay. First, he was a great nationalist who showed love, patriotism, and loyalty to his country. He was educated, and he helped to show good leadership qualities using the education he has acquired to help build the country okay now we want to look at a recap of all we have said so far about Herbert Sir Macaulay. Herbert Macaulay was born in Lagos in 1864 they were among the slaves that were captured in Sierra Leone and later they returned to Nigeria after his education he took up a job as a clerical assistant in Lagos after a while, he left for England where he studied civil engineering. Again, he also received certificates in architecture and music. He joined the anti-slavery group, becoming very active in trying to protect the interests of the common man. He worked against a lot of colonial policy. He exposed the corruption in the way the Europeans were handling the railway finances and even those representatives whose lands were taken forcefully by the British. Founded the first political party of Nigeria, the Nigerian National Democratic Party. It was the first party in Nigeria. He chose to be featured on the Nigerian currency and he can be found on the Nigerian one naira coin. Next, we want to talk about Dr. Benjamin Namde Azikiwe. He was born in 1904, as we said earlier, and he died in 1996. Dr. Namde Azikiwe was former, that's the late Dr. Namde Azikiwe, okay? He is a nationalist that fought for the struggle of Nigerian independence. He was born in Zungero in Niger State on the 16th of November, 1904, okay? He was born by Igbo parents. His father, Obed Edom Chukwemeka Azikiwe, was a clerk in the British regiment. He was a lecturer, a journalist, politician, an author, and an orator, okay? Now, he spoke and understood different languages. He can speak different languages. He had his education in different schools, Holy Trinity or Nature, West Virginia, Harvard, and Lincoln universities. He founded many newspapers, including the West African Pilot. He formed a political party, the National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroons, NTNT, in 1944. He was a key player in the struggle for independence and the founder of the Nigerian Youth Movement in 1937. Dr. Benjamin Namde Azikiwe was one of the nationalists who ensured that Nigerians succeeded in a lot of things, especially the malpractices, the corruption that was imminent with the British rule. Now, the lessons that we we'll have to learn from Dr. Namde Azikiwe, first, he realized the importance of good education. So he was well-educated and he wanted Nigerians to be educated. He struggled and worked very hard without giving up in the face of difficulties. 
He loved Nigeria as a country instead of his ethnic group alone. He showed good leadership by example. Dr. Benjamin Namdi Azikiwe was a good writer and a powerful speaker. Like I said earlier, he was a narrator. A narrator is someone who speaks very fluently, someone who has an oratory prowess. So with his writings, he informed and educated Nigerians and other African citizens. With his speeches, he elevated the spirits and the zeal of many Nigerians on the need to work for self rule In other words, on the need for Nigerians to be independent from the British rule. Now, it should be noted that Nandazikwe was the first black governor general of Nigeria from 1960 to 1963. So from the day we had independent 1960, he was the first governor general to 1963 when Nigeria became a republic. So he was the first president of Nigeria. Please be encouraged to upload your interactive assignment. Thank you for watching this video. Be good.